Chapter 9, The Header Mosiah discovers the people of Zarahemla. He teaches them and discovers that they are descendants of Zedekiah, the last king of Judah. Mosiah is made king over the people and confers the kingdom upon his son Benjamin. 1. And it came to pass that after many days of wandering in the wilderness, the people of Mosiah came into a land that was inhabited by other people who were strangers to them. 2. For behold, the Lamanites who had separated themselves from the Nephites were becoming a dark-skinned people because of the effects of the sun on their nakedness. But these strange inhabitants of the land northward were white and delightsome, like unto the Nephites. 3. And it came to pass that Mosiah sent Abinadon with a group of armed guards in among the people to attempt to talk to their leader and see if they were at peace and also if they were friendly towards them. 4. And it came to pass that Abinadom returned to Mosiah and reported that he and his guards could not understand the language of this people and that they had a leader among them who was called Zarahemla and that they were a very friendly people. 5. And it came to pass that the people of Zarahemla rejoiced exceedingly at the arrival of the people of Mosiah even though they could not communicate with each other, and their rejoicing was caused by the physical similarities that they shared, both groups being a white and delightsome people. 6. And it came to pass that Mosiah taught Zarahemla and his people in the language of the Nephites, and they began to understand each other from that time forth. 7. And Mosiah learned that Zarahemla was a descendant of Mulek, one of the sons of Zedekiah, king of Judah, who was carried away by his nephew, the king of Babylon, shortly after Lehi had left the city of Jerusalem. 8. Behold, Zedekiah rebelled against the king of Babylon and began to believe in a creator and the things that the prophets were preaching unto the Jews at Jerusalem. And Zedekiah took compassion upon the Jews and was wont to protect them from the king of Babylon. 9. And because of his righteousness, the Lord came to him in a dream, and showed unto him the destruction of Jerusalem, and also that his sons would all be slain if he stayed in the land of Jerusalem. 10. And it came to pass that Molech, the son of Zedekiah, heeded the words of his father, and took many of his riches, and gathered up all those who would listen to him, and fled into the wilderness before the king of Babylon could destroy him. 11. And it came to pass that the Spirit of God led Molech to the same waters that Lehi and his family had crossed. And Molech built ships that carried his people across the many waters, until they came to the promised land. 12. And Molech had a son and called his name Mataniah after the name of his father, and Mataniah begot Timrah. 13. And Timrah begot Sandesh, and Sandesh begot Helikiah, and Helikiah had a son whom he called Joshua, who was the father of Jerusham, and Jerusham was the father of Zarahemla. 14. And behold, it was the wisdom of the Lord that he should send Molech out of Jerusalem. For behold, the people of Mosiah learned from the descendants of Molech that all of the prophecies that were prophesied concerning the destruction of Jerusalem had come to pass. 15. And Zarahemla did rejoice exceedingly for he had no record of his ancestors with him. And because they had no written record, the people of Zarahemla could not read or write. And in this manner did their language become corrupt. 16. And it came to pass that the people of Zarahemla did unite with the people of Mosiah, and they did make Mosiah their king and ruler over them. 17. And it came to pass that the people of Zarahemla brought forth some old records that had been written upon stone, and gave them unto Mosiah that he might know the meaning thereof. 18. And it came to pass that Mosiah was given the gift of translation by the power of the Holy Spirit that was in him. 19. 
and the record contained a history of some other inhabitants of the promised land who had come over across the many waters many years before the people of Molech or before the people of Lehi had reached the promised land. 20. And the record was given unto the people of Zarahemla by Coriantum, who was the last known descendant of the people who had been destroyed by wars and pestilence, and whose bones lay in the land northward. 21. And this Coriantum died among the people of Zarahemla during the time that Mataniah, the son of Molech, was the leader of the people. 22. And Mataniah could not understand the words of Coriantum, but he did receive the record of the people of Coriantum, which was engraven upon stone, and it was this same stone that Zarahemla gave unto Mosiah. 23. And it came to pass that there were other records that were also discovered among the ruins in the land northward, that were later given unto King Mosiah, who was the grandson of Mosiah, the first king of Zarahemla, so that he might translate them. And an account of these other records will I save for another part of this abridgment. 24. For behold, I, Mormon, do not know beforehand what I am about to write in the abridgment that I am engraving upon these plates of ore. Nevertheless, this I do know, that the Spirit of God is within me, and I write those things which God wants to preserve for those who will find these plates, and to bring forth the words which I have written. 25. Behold, for this reason the interpreters have been passed down from generation to generation, until they have fallen into my hands. And I will seal up this record along with these interpreters, when I have finished what the Lord would have me write in this abridgment. And these are the same interpreters that King Messiah had in his possession during his reign and ministry, which were given to him by the people of Limhi, who had found them with the records of the people who had perished in the land northward, an account of which I will give in another part of my abridgment. 26. And it came to pass that the people of Zarahemla were taught the law of Moses, and the gospel of the coming of the Son of God into the world to save his people. 27. And the people of Zarahemla began to understand the words of Mosiah, their king, and they did repent of their sins, and began to live in righteousness. 28. And it came to pass that King Mosiah was loved by his people, and he spent all the days of his life teaching them to live at peace and with love one towards another. 29. And he did teach the people of the coming of Christ to the world and he did expound upon the scriptures that they had among them, explaining them to the people so that they could understand the meaning thereof. 30. And it came to pass that the people in the land of Zarahemla began to increase exceedingly. Nevertheless, they were constantly taught the gospel of Christ, and by the law of Moses, which pointed them towards the acceptance of the Son of God and his gospel message for them. 31. And there arose some contention among the people as to why they could not return to the land of Nephi, and reclaim the land of their inheritance. And many men in their pride went back into the wilderness against the counsel of King Mosiah, who had warned them that the time was not right for them to do so. 32. And it came to pass that King Mosiah called the people together, to speak with them one last time before his death. 33. And when the people had gathered to hear their leader, Mosiah set his son Benjamin before them, and consecrated and anointed him to reign in his stead. 35. And King Mosiah stood forth, and spoke unto his people, saying, My beloved brothers and sisters, behold, ye are all truly my brothers and sisters, for in God our Father we have our affiliation. 36. Ye have made me your king, and granted me the opportunity to serve you all the days of my life. And for this service I have taken nothing from you, except it be to sustain my own life and the lives of my wife and my children. 
37. Many years ago I heeded the promptings of the Holy Spirit, which hath been my constant companion all the days of my life. Behold, it was this same Spirit that led me out of the land of our fathers and into the wilderness. 38. And it is the same Spirit that led many of your fathers to follow me and leave the land of Nephi, so that we would not be subjected to the same punishments as our brethren who stayed in the land of Nephi. 39. Behold, we would not have had to leave the land of our inheritance if we had not fallen into sin and corruption. Yea, even the very church of God that was established by our father Nephi became corrupt in the eyes of the Lord. 40. And do ye know the reason for the corruption of our people? Can you begin to see what causeth such great calamity to any society of the children of God that refuseth to live by his commandments? Even if I speak plainly unto you by the power of the Spirit of God, that engulfeth my soul at this time, and giveth me great strength even in my old age, will ye understand? 41. O oh, my beloved brothers and sisters, know ye not that the devil is a deceiver, and hath the cunningness to make us think that sin is righteousness, and that righteousness is sin? Know ye not that he can present himself as a God and a saviour of the world, and then present the true God and his son as the devil? Know ye not that when ye least expect it, the devil will take power over you and turn your minds and your hearts against the truth? 42. I know this to be true, for behold, it hath happened in Jerusalem, it hath happened in the land of Nephi, and it will happen unto you if ye do not watch yourselves carefully, and live by the precepts of truth and righteousness. 43. Behold, how will ye know that the precepts that ye are taught by your leaders are precepts of truth and righteousness? Yea, how will ye know if the God that ye are following is the true God and not the devil in disguise? How will ye know that ye are being misled by your leaders in whom ye trust to teach you these precepts of truth and righteousness? 44. Alas, how shall ye keep this destruction and unhappiness from coming upon you like it hath come upon our brothers and sisters who stayed in Jerusalem and are in the land of Nephi at this time? 45. The answer is simple. Oh, that ye would open your hearts to the simplicity of the answer. Oh, that ye would not look beyond the mark. Which mark hath been set since the beginning of time to teach the children of God all things that they need to know in order to have peace and happiness forever? 46. Behold, it is the standard of God, and the only way that happiness and peace can be obtained. Yea, it was taught to you by all the holy prophets that have preached unto you. Behold, it shall be taught to the Jews at Jerusalem, when the Son of God cometh unto them in the flesh, and teacheth them this thing. 47. Yea, it shall be taught to our descendants who shall witness the resurrected Saviour of the world, who shall come down among them after his resurrection. 48. And my soul crieth in exceeding joy to know that it shall be taught, when the Lord cometh in all his power, and glory to set up his kingdom for the last time upon this earth, and this kingdom shall last for ever. 49. Behold, my soul is overpowered by the Spirit at this time, even so much that I am wont to shout aloud the glorious message of this standard of God unto you, that ye might remember it, and live by it always, that ye might always have peace and happiness among you, and that the Spirit of the Lord might abide with you for ever. 50. And these are the commandments of God, yea, even the only way unto salvation. 51. Love your neighbor as yourself, and do unto others as you would have them do unto you. This is the mark, my brothers and sisters, this is the standard by which ye shall be judged, and by which ye shall live in the eternities. 52. This is the foundation of the law and commandments of God, 
There is no other. All commandments and laws and ordinances and sacrifices and sacraments and endowments and duties should lead the children of God to this eternal standard. 53. And if ye shall not live by this standard, ye shall be destroyed. Ye shall end up in bondage and suffer without peace and with no happiness. 54. Do not let the pride and riches of the world keep you from reaching this simple mark. Do not let the devil deceive you into thinking that it is righteous to own more than another, or that ye deserve more than your neighbour. Do not think that ye are justified to set yourselves up above another class of people. 55. For behold, when the Lord shall come in his glory, and set this standard as the only standard that shall be followed, the poor in spirit shall rejoice, and they that mourn shall be comforted, and the meek shall be exalted, and the merciful shall obtain mercy, and there shall be no rich or poor among any of the people of the Lord. 56. Listen to the words of my son, for he is a righteous man who hath the Spirit of the Lord within him. 57. Live peacefully one with another, and seek not to destroy your enemies, but to teach them the commandments of God, and show them by your example the standard by which they can also find peace and happiness. 58. May God be with you all, my beloved brothers and sisters. 59. And it came to pass that the people of Zarahemla were overcome by the words of King Mosiah. And they wept exceedingly for their king. And King Mosiah died, and was very close to the burial place of his friend Zarahemla. 60. And it came to pass that though the people of the land of Zarahemla loved their king, they loved their riches, and their pride, and their houses, and their precious things more than they loved their fellow men. 61. And it came to pass that the Lamanites came into the land of Zarahemla and began to kill the Nephites and take their possessions. And the Nephites fought back with exceeding strength and drove the Lamanites out of their lands. 62. And there arose much contention throughout the land of Zarahemla. Yea, everyone blamed another for the wars with the Lamanites. Yea, every man accused his neighbor of sinning against God and bringing the wrath of God upon them, thus denying his own wickedness. 63. And it came to pass that King Benjamin pleaded with the people to repent of their sins, and remember the things that his father had spoken unto them. End of chapter 9.